66 to start, and looks like we're getting right into it. There we go. Hey, I wait, I think they added, did they add this after uh, the Overwatch cinematic? They might have. Cool. Now this map has been, I think, notorious for being the anti-goats map. But I could be totally wrong. I don't know if it's anti-goats. I think it's more not as effective on goats. Just there's a lot more room to move around, a lot more sight lines, and you're immediately on point. So it can be used for goats, but it's not usually used for goats. So. So we've got a tracer out of singularity. First time we've seen, you know, I think we've seen, I, I think we've seen Jub Jub's uh, Widowmaker a little bit today. It's definitely been strong, and I hope that Wayne State put up a good performance, a good fight. Uh, this map is notorious for being a non goats map, so it'll be interesting to see what Wayne Wolves have in their lineup. Can always we can always dream, we can always dream. That would have sent the message right away. Yeah. But uh, looks like they're gonna let them move it up a bit to the choke point. Uh, a lot of times you do this on maps where you can find a better place to defend. Mm -hmm. It looks like we do have another widow on the side of Wayne Wolves, so we'll yeah. see how Jub Jub will fare against that. Yeah, he's got to keep his eye open. Anytime he tries to fire off at somebody, he's gonna leave himself wide open. And there we go. He does find Avatar she right <laughs> as he turns the corner. Singularity getting a kill as well. Chasing down the Genji. Jub Jub gonna find that kill. Singularity finds the Ana. This push is dead. Just a matter of stalling out and taking down the D.Va. Yes. And it looks like... They're yeah, they're just gonna let her run for a second. No. The staggers... Uh, oh, oh, hang on. They kind of played it. with their food a little bit. And D.Va gets back into the fight. Yeah, but there we go. Jub Jub. Jub Jub. Nicely done, taking one, two more kills. Okay. Wayne Wolves, force it back out. Gonna regroup. See what so they can pull there. off. Let's see if they can switch it up. Oh no. my goodness. Okay, there we go, Genji finding Jub Jub, and never mind, Jub Jub finds Genji. So. This is going to be a tough one for the uh, Wolves to take. And a lot of times teams do this if you're overpowering competition a little bit or even on regular games when you're just playing against people is spawn camping. It's a way to easily let them get no progress on the point and you can keep them right where you want them in your sight lines. Yeah, can it be extremely hard to just find them like motivation, get the morale to just group up and strike back when they have such a crazy position on you. Because even right now, Blazin just gets to charge in. He gets clunked out right at the start, but Genji goes down, don't touch me, staying the kill. That is a nano-boosted Reinhardt going absolutely crazy in the back line of the Wolves. And that's a wipe, but... Ooh, there's a oh, pick on Singularity. Yeah, there we go. Fire Dragon taking them, taking them down. So uh, they're kind of they're keeping their ults together. They're saving them for any time it's necessary. You got 44 meters of progress on this first point. They got quite a ways to go. They got about 50 more meters or so left. And jump hey, jump, jump getting jumped here. on, kind of forced to run away, but don't touch me. He's right there with the save. There's the beat drop to stop any sort of pressure from the dead eye. And so far, Fire Dragon goes down. Diva is demeked, and. Is Blazon sniping with Fire Strike? We're going to get a case. charge on Singularity. Oh no, the boop sent some right to the middle of the team. There is a. Uh, which one call that? A yeah. Graviton coming up from somewhere, but I can't the seem to find it. Back as well. Blazon and Jub Jub both get picked. So they actually end up on point and they're pushing forward. They got pushback from Wayne Wolves, and as was shown, they do have a fight left in them. Yeah, there's the motivation they need, but Singularity finding the Reinhardt with the Pulse Grenade. Doing a ton Looks of like damage, taking them out. they stagger everyone out. Oh, uh, yeah. There's an anti on that Zarya, so she is in danger, but 
healers do their job, clean it up, and... All right, so 15 seconds for so have the Wolves to get one more us. push. And one last push for the Wolves. We'll see if they can actually make it to the point. Now, they're going they to take the high ground, it looks like, and firing off the Diva Bomb, but no one's at the point anyway. And they were a little slow like on the gun. Round one. Yeah, it's a little bit of a C9 for... If you don't know what C9 is, it's uh, at the end of a round, oftentimes you do send one person in, um, oftentimes sacrifice their life just to get someone on the point and start overtime. It gives you a few extra seconds to try and figure out what to do. Unfortunately, they weren't able to do that. And <laughs> yeah, it really looks, looks like, like we're going to pull out a uh, uh, interesting comp on attack here. I mean, they don't have to move very far, so really they just need speed, right? Yeah. In theory. In theory, this is obviously a very good comp against... You, you can't even set up on top the gas station. Like, this is a actual, like, really tough hold, I think, right now for the Wayne Wolves. They have to essentially spawn camp them right out the gate. Same way that uh, the Saints did. It's the only way they're going to win this one. Is this a Torb on attack? Well, you know what? They got 41 seconds to decide if that's the route they want to go, but... I have seen Torbs do very well on attack in specific scenarios, so could be an interesting comp we got here. Oh, they're crafting something really weird up here, so I look forward to seeing what they try to do. You guys are ready for a St. Clair, St. Clair Strats. <laughs> I mean, in this scenario, you don't have to go very far, so if you want to try and do some experience, <laughs> experimental strats. Yeah. Give it a Indeed. shot. In worst case scenario, you just come back and switch like after yeah. a few attempts. Yeah. You go back to the uh, goats comp if necessary. Yeah, so, so we've actually got, got a Symmetra for the first time all season. So we have a Symmetra Torbjorn. It's an interesting idea. Oh, it goes right around the Orisa. I like this idea. It actually seems to be working so far. The Singularity does get hooked and smoked out of the way. Jub Jub is let free reign in the background, taking down the Mercy and the Bastion. Just a matter a of pushing this out. cart. Nobody's pushing it right now. Okay, Jesse does go back to get it. Three people on the cart getting rather close. Jub Jub running oh. interference in the back line. They're going to be a tough time to get back to point. Okay, two Could going down. And unfortunately, and they're not able to get point. And first game goes to the St. Clair Saints. Um, I don't want to say dominant set, but it was a pretty dominant game. It was definitely a rough one. And let's see Jub Jub do some work on Widowmaker. Oh, yeah. Walks right out. You did. I think he gets at least one more in this. Yeah. Kenji jumped him in. Nope. Just completely smokes him. Yeah. Well played by the Saints. Um, they are showing off a little bit, but they've had a couple very intense games, so a little bit, a little bit of a uh, less intense game is something that's you know not the worst thing in the world, right? Less, than, not so exciting. No, I mean, sure that one may have been convincing, but very well could have just either been a bad map or. Just uh, strategized. You never know, especially what do we have here now? Hanamura. This map can swing hard if a mistake happens. So it's not one you really yeah. want to get too cocky with. So there's with. definitely another one, like I said, on Icon Weld. Uh, if you do not maintain it, you have to completely wipe the second point to actually get it because the spawns are, again, 10 feet away. So it's very yeah, yeah. easy for a team to use Wrecking Ball or Tracer or May and delay the point so you're not able to actually get it. Hmm. This is also a good map. It's not such a good map for goats as a whole, just because it's hard to hold the uh, choke point at the first point. There's just a single gate, and then there's a secondary gate in the top corner. So goats is hard to hold anywhere on. So they're gonna actually pull out their reaper, which I'm glad to see because as the two teams, that two earlier teams, they played. <clears throat> my bad. Two teams they played earlier today both pulled out the reapers. So. It is something good for them to practice and something for them to work on during this game because it's something that you're going to have to figure out how to play properly to stand a chance uh, against other teams that might bring out their own Reapers. 
Yeah, you got to be able to adjust your strategy because the last thing I'd hate or the thing I'd hate to see for the Saints is if like Goats all of a sudden gets nerfed and then they have no backup. Like yeah, for sure, that'd be worst case scenario. But I'm sure these guys have a plan. A Singularity right around the corner, waiting for him to come in, surprise them with a burst load of damage right onto the Reinhardt. Half Looks health like already. Trying to get him. There he goes. He does go down. Just onto the Diva and the rest of the tank line. Trying to push the Wayne Wolves back. Oh, the Singularity kind of getting a little close, but that extra healing from the patch seems to be doing work keeping him alive. So there was just one pick there. So they didn't have to push very far back, just back to spawn. Okay, so most of the wolves are off on the right-hand side, but so where you have in the, the world are these guys going? The Reinhardt and Wrecking Ball are going to try and flank them from behind. Oh my god, and you're kidding me! They set them in there! We're going to see a good pile driver here, knocking a ton of them up! It's allowing the rest of the Saints to follow up. Singularity does go down, but Jesse does find a kill onto the, the Wolves Moira. Moira. Oh, and Wrecking Ball hits him off the edge. Mm -hmm. Nice shot there. Of course, don't touch me now. The rest of the Saints just plowing through, and the boop to finish it off, maybe? No, never mind. Jub Jub got him. No, that was he actually did. a boop, so and it's a wipe. That spot is not often talked about because not a lot of teams use it, but if you go along the side there, there is kind of an open part of the map where you can hit people off, so they're going to try and force the Wayne Wolves into that little spot. And I see a Dragon Blade coming out. Can I actually get it? There we go. He does get the one kill onto the Moira, then falls back. The sneaky little wrecking ball. And you've seen this play corridor. before, so you can actually one shot a team by using this. So what you do is you land, you actually you oh, might We're gonna probably right see here. it right here. They're all in the middle. He drops in with the shatter on top of it. This is gonna be a ton of damage to the team. Only one going down, just a mech actually though. A little anticlimactic, but we're going bullet. We got like at least three or four of the members of the wolves caught up in that. Dropping the beat, keeping everybody healthy. That's a Death Blossom coming out as well. Another clean team fight there for the Saints. So I want to talk about the uh, Wrecking Ball change they made where his pile driver or his slam, yeah. it actually does a lot more damage than it used to. So what you can do to one-shot a team is you sit here, for example, you'll jump up, you'll throw down your ultimate, which is your minefield, and then you'll slam the ground, knock the entire team up, and they land on all your mines. And that's pretty much end game. Ooh, right, well, it looks like Reaper. this time though, don't touch me. He's a little slow to the party. Does finally get in there with the the bowling ball, but it's actually going to be the Moira ult from Jussie taking a kill, as well as Jub Jub getting this sneaky one onto the Lucio. Oh Jussie with another one, apparently. Singularity barely getting out with his life. Jub Jub snagging the far out of the sky as well. And they're kind of staggered right now. It's, they haven't exactly gotten themselves a 6v6 in a good couple seconds here. They are finally going to go in there. Singularity in a bit of a rough spot, but never mind. Blazing with the double kill with the charge. And Death Blossom going to snag himself two more. And Get some cleanup crew from here. So they have 30 seconds to take point. They do get the Blazing Reinhardt. No. But Diva gives her life to get the Reinhardt. Oh, he pops the mine right in the, the spawn point. Good, good God. Don't touch me. Yeah, there's 10 seconds for the wolves to get something done. Don't touch me just melts the pharaoh right out of the sky. Not looking good. Diva trying to make a beeline to tag this point. The, boop, the boop keeping him away. Wow, it's over. The boop. And it's, it's, you know, it's nice to have a clean win like this. No... You know, there's a lot of staggers. Obviously, Wayne Wolves might not be as accustomed to playing against a team like this. But it's good to keep them in practice, good to put them on people that they don't usually play. Because, as you said earlier, you never know when Goats is going to be nerfed, when, you know, Wrecking Ball is going to be buffed, or when someone's going to go completely over the top. So you never really know what you're going to see next. So it's good to maybe play a little bit, play a little bit of off-brand heroes that you don't usually see so you can practice them, right? Yeah, just to make sure that you're all warmed up on yeah, them. Like, for sure. Who knows, a couple months from now, Hammond's the Wrecking Ball could be, like, the new diva. You, you could. You never know. Like, <laughs> he could become standard, and then you're 
the time you put in here against real teams and in a real team comp with your teammates will prove to be the deciding factor in why you did so well because you were able to get that practice time with wrecking ball you're able to you know maybe they'll buff genji you, could, you used genji when you had some time to use them and you could use them effectively right mm -hmm. so we're gonna see what we're gonna get on attack we have a bit of a roll switch it looks like as of right now now Jesse notorious for being the support player, Blazin being the tank. Yeah, so I think but they're flexing the a little bit of triple tank and a Torbjorn, a Widowmaker, and the single Dowling trademark Lucio. I mean, we've seen some other weird comps from the Saints where it's just a solo <laughs> Lucio as support. I'm curious as to how this will end up. Okay, finding that sentry turret. Good, good. Ooh, oh, okay, the Bastion up top. Uh, Jesse must have went in a little too Symmetra. early. He got melted. Although they're on the point now, it's going to actually force the, the wolves to react. And then a couple supports got cried out pretty early, so I think... Yeah, this is looking like a problem here for the wolves. Ryan's going to try and stall, but he's oh, already so low. And we're going to get that first tick in. GG, folks. That's a 2-0 for Saints Gaming. Oof, and <laughs> is right. It was a good end to the day. After a very intense day, we uh, pulled out on top in the end as well. And we got the 3-0. And Jubjub's Widowmaker has been... He's been showing it off all day. He's been showing what he can do, how well he can contest, and how well he can snipe people. And as you're seeing here, he doesn't miss a lot of shots. You can really depend on him. I mean, they may not have been headshots, but it's still solid damage to the body. And yeah, for sure. Got two headshots total. But it's so. good that they could... Use some picks they don't normally see. You can practice stuff that normally you don't play with. And, you know, they, there was a little bit of a fight from Wayne State, but Saints pulled out on top. And a 3-0 day is a 3-0 day, and I'll take that anytime.